Hello, everybody. It is Tuesday night, team call night. And it's also, oh my goodness, it's election day. Hopefully you guys all voted. I know you though. That's what I was just saying. I know you all did. Totally not concerned. We are going to definitely rock your world tonight with our two wonderful guest trainers. We have Ali Bashan, who you guys know how much I love her. She is my level one senior Ruby who literally I walk into this gorgeous Lux salon on Cape Cod. I hear her talking behind the counter to friends and I'm like that mm -hmm, diamond. Okay. How do I go talk to that girl? Literally come over with my hair and all the foils. And I'm like, hi, hi, were you talking about? I interrupted you guys, so glad I did. She is a diamond, 100%. She's going to share on her latest aha mindset moment. And I just want to say this. You know what? Every day, I hope you're having some aha mindset moment because we need it in this business, in this industry. And I will flat out say in this world, like we have to be renewing our minds with truth every day. And you know what I'm going to say? It's got to come from God's word, number one. And then if you work in this business, you better be being like Ali Bashan, who is literally while she's doing her makeup, she has either a podcast on or YouTube training. She always has her nose in a book. Um, after we hear from her, we're going to go into Hello, Diamond, Emily Roberts. Um, and I will introduce her when she comes. But yay, you guys are joining. Keep yourselves muted. Ali Bashan, you ready to share your aha moment? She's just getting over a cold, but she'd be fine. I just choked on my water, but I'm okay. Um, so hi, I'm Ali. And Bridget asked me if I was for my la latest aha moment. So I really had to stop to think about it. Like, okay, well, what made me stop and be like, whoa. And for me, uh, it's this book right here. And it's called The Game of Conquering. And it talks about mindset. I feel like everybody talks about mindset, right? But this book really uh, kind of helped me see, like, or rather, like, called me out. I, I told a couple of people this was, like, a gut punch within, like, the first few pages. Um, I told Bridget it smacked me across the face um, in a very good way, though. So this book talks more about two of the types of mindsets we can get stuck in and then one that we should be working towards. So I'm not going to uh, take up too much time at all because we have important things to move on to. So I just want to share a little bit about what each mindset was, um, where I found myself called out and stuck in. And I am a big believer of looking in the mirror. And if you know better, you do better. And a lot of times we have to do that about ourselves. Like now that I know better about certain things, I can do better. So the first mindset that people can tend to get stuck in is a victim mindset. So I'm just going to read <clears throat> how you know if you're in a victim mindset. So somebody in a victim mindset lives in the past and defines their future based on their past experiences. They blame their circumstances on others and takes no accountability. They view their product, the company, their area, et cetera, as the problem with their business they use the victim card to get sympathy and attention from others. <clears throat> They're stagnant in growth and resistant to change. They have feelings of always suffering. They hide experiences from others because of shame. And they can be an asshole, which an asshole is a person who constantly asks for advice and then does the opposite of what you suggested. I think we all know some assholes. Um, the next mindset is... So this is the survivor mindset. And this is where I felt so called out and so very like, it's not a bad thing to be a survivor, but this mindset, when you look at it in terms of network marketing, that's what this book is about. This is where I found myself and I was so called out. I was like upset at the book, but now we're moving on, right? So a survivor mindset has the power to endure. They're committed to networking events and personal development. They watch most of the team's trainings, but won't take enough action about what was learned. They are focused on not quitting instead of winning. They possess an inner drive and feelings of something bigger than themselves. They're seen as strong, but may feel weak or unworthy. They can recognize their role and move beyond their circumstances, compare themselves to others, keeps the past hidden from others, spends time fake working in their network marketing business. 
They're mentally exhausted from staying in survivor mindset too long, and they will not be successful in network marketing. So the mindset to work towards is called a conqueror mindset. And how you know you're here is when you take full responsibility and you don't make excuses, focus on the income producing activities, take massive action, embrace your past and learn from it, understands that circumstances are outside of their control, loves themselves and their past experiences, seeks to inspire and connect with others through sharing experiences, also seeks support from others and honestly talks about what they are facing, commits to growth and sets aside time to work on their mindset, thinks thoughts on purpose to drive their feelings and actions towards the life they want to create, and they follow the conqueror's formula to create success in their network marketing business. And the conqueror's formula is, this is the last little bit here, your vision plus your environment plus your discipline plus your habits is what is going to give you success. And this whole book could be like a whole training in and of itself. So highly recommend this book. Um, and that's that's all I wanted to share. Just this book was my latest aha moment. And it is The Game of Conquering by Rob Sperry. Where do we all buy? Where do we all I buy? I got it on Amazon. Yeah, we're buying. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. And he's one of my favorite podcasts, Rod Sperry. Okay. Thank mm -hmm. you. Mm -hmm. On it. That was amazing. And I felt a little called out there too. Oh my goodness. Thank you, friend. All right. Okay. Here we are. It's time for diamond training, you guys. And the reason why we aim to have... You guys, people that are growing and building on our teams, silver all the way through senior Ruby, train us at the beginning of these calls is because <laughs> they are learning and growing and we can learn from them. I will just make mention of this too. Ali Bashan has two business builders that are level ones on fire right now, earning the cruise, big time recruiting, working on duplication. You guys, you have people in your downlines. They might not even be silver yet. They might not have even joined your team yet, but they are going to be on this call one day, sharing at the beginning of the call, teaching us what they're learning. Okay. We're always going to do that when I'm around. Emily Roberts is a diamond and I, I don't even know, like she might be, uh, maybe she's like triple King Kong diamond. I don't really know. All I know is that... <laughs> 2016, there I was, military wife, adrenal fatigue, got on the products, and I had a wild hair moment, and I messaged three friends in text privately, and I was like, I just found this stuff, and I really feel like this is going to be a blessing to me. Like, I feel like you should do it with me, and they did, and oh, I'm not kidding. It was within just the first couple days. I was on YouTube like, Lexis, I want to know more. Like, train me. Let's see if I want to do this business. I was looking at the opportunity and I came across Emily Robert. She was a military what? wife. And um, all I recall, and Emily, I don't know, maybe this is, hopefully this is all like for real. This is what I recall. You were sitting at this computer with like a, a baby bassinet next to you and like patting a baby. <laughs> And she's training her team. I don't know if she was in an apartment or a little house or whatever, but I'm pretty sure her husband was deployed. And I just thought to myself, all right, this girl, she in her 20s, I'm in my 30s. If she can do it, I can do it. If her husband's deployed, mine is not deployed. If she can do it, I can do it. She got, she got a newborn or an infant in her little thing. If she can do it, I can do it. You guys, we all love her. She, I'm like, let's just say one plexus. Um, always being bringing the inspiration and strengthening us all. I treasure you, Emily. I know we don't even know each other very well personally, but thank you. And I love that your child is with you. She's also a this, new. This woman. is the baby that was in the bassinet. Now he's eight. See, Isn't that crazy? Eight, <laughs> 2016. I did remember. Hello, sweet big boy. No baby, no more. So take it away, Emily. Thanks for being here tonight. Well, thank you for quite the introduction, you guys. I did. I joined in 2014. I was Diamond by 2016. Um, what's crazy about this journey is that I started my business 
in Texas while Scott was deployed, went back to California to greet him home. Um, there is nothing more motivating for a military woman than to do something that makes money so your husband never has to leave the country again. And that was my first why. Um, anything to keep him from having to deploy, which he's sitting on the couch by our Christmas tree with our two kids right now. He's not overseas. And so that is just like, that's why we're here and what we're going to talk about. And um, grew my business to senior gold through Texas and California friends, military spouse friends. And then I went to my first Plexus event. It was at a Lexus dealership because if y'all didn't know, when you get to Emerald, you can earn a Plexus Lexus. And they used to host events at the Lexus dealership. Genius. So we're at this meeting um, and they called out different ranks. And at the time I was a brand new Ruby ambassador and I stood up and I was the only new Ruby in the room, the only Ruby in the room. And I had brought 16 girls with me to that meeting. And they all were like, dang, you're the only Ruby. Like it was kind of cool. And so I went home fired up. I was like, we're going all the way, whatever. My husband was sitting on the stairs, my big skeptic of all time. And he goes like this and he rubs his temples and he rolls his eyes and he goes, cool, whatever. Uh, we got orders to Virginia. So I need you to pack the house in like three days. And he went upstairs and he went to bed. I'm on Plexus cloud nine. Like we're going diamond baby. Like I'm so motivated, like so excited about this business. Um, and saw how special it was to be a Ruby, um, really, truly pursuing any rank in this business is so exciting. And we moved to Virginia. We went across the United States from California to Virginia. And that is where I went Emerald. And what's crazy about going Emerald in a state that you've never been to before as a 24 year old at the time, I was the youngest jewel in Plexus. I was getting calls from corporate, like, who are you? What are you doing? How did you just graduate college and have a baby and go emerald and diamond? Like what? it was, it was, it was a lot. So let me just kind of walk you through some skills that you want to keep in your network marketing pocket. Okay. Um, the topic I told Bridget that I wanted to talk about was sharing versus sales, because a lot of the time you, and maybe someone said to you when you came into this business, like it's social sharing. Everybody socially shares something they love, which is very true. But newsflash, it's sales. You're in sales, sis. Dude, you are in sales. You are selling something. Yourself, your Nike sweatshirt, the highlights in your hair, the jewelry you're wearing, you are selling something at all times. And so if you are like, I'm just going to refer a friend. Like, no, 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 this is sales. So embrace it and get excited about it because the number one topic that people like to train on outside of leadership is sales. And so you have resources everywhere at your fingertips. And I want to dive into um, just a little bit about that and what I have been coached on. I've been in this business for 10 years and I didn't hire a coach until last year, last year. In 2022, I had a really rough year in my business, in my personal life, in my health. And a lot of you, if you follow me on social media, you've seen this huge health transformation over the last two years, more importantly, in the last six to eight months. And it's because I got things back at the doctor's office that I did not like. I have examples in my parents and from my in-laws. And I'm like, okay, I'm only getting older. That's what I have to look forward to. Like, we need to clean some stuff up. And thankfully, we have incredible products. But you guys, do you know what's even better than the products that we get to sell? Our compensation plan. You get to sell the idea of hope and happiness and problem solve for people every single day on the internet. And before you roll your eyes or think to yourself, because I know some of you are already self-deprecating on the inside. Oh, I could never. I'm not pretty. I'm not cute. I'm not funny. I could never. All the things, right? Tell your brain, shut up. Um. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. You don't have to be great at network marketing, but you can get good at network marketing. You don't have to be great at sales, but you can get good at sales. And it's a mindset shift. Okay. I wasn't in Girl Scouts. I didn't, my mom wasn't in sales growing up. I don't have some sales background. I dropped out of college and married a Marine after dating him for four months. I had a little bit of a reckless wild side. Nobody wanted what I was going after, okay? And so what I did have was the willingness and drive to talk to anyone who would listen, 
a pink drink that tasted really good. And I knew more than anything, it made more sense to work the plexus compensation plan to get a plexus lexus. It made more sense to do that than it made more any sense at all to go to a bank, apply for a loan, get denied for a loan, go to another bank, apply for a loan, and try to get a car that way. That's literally the idiocy that I was dealing with. I'm like, it makes more sense for me to grow this business and help 300 people love Plexus and reorder every single month to get a car that is paid for by the company than anything else. So that was the first big vision that I saw in my business. It wasn't Diamond. Like, yeah, that sounded great. Anybody? Oh, Diamond must be nice. Have you ever said that? Mm -hmm. Yeah, be honest. I used to say that too. Uh, Celeste Gwynn, she was the first double diamond in our company, a little plexus history for you. And she's, I'm her level four. When Celeste went double diamond, that was when I went diamond. We helped her go double diamond. And so just a little fun fact, and that's so cool. And, and it was just, it was awesome to be a part of something bigger than me. It wasn't about my goals. Like, yeah, I was going diamond, but my people were hitting their ranks, which then were in return, Celeste made plexus history. Like it was like a lot of big things were happening. Okay. Well, how do we get there? How do you go from the new person to diamond? How do you go silver? Right. How do you do this? How do you do that? Right. Okay. Anybody, if you, are you wondering like, how have I already signed up for new VIPs this month? I'm going to tell you, I'm going to tell you. And here's the thing. Some of you are going to write it down and your, your pencil is going to start a fire. You're going to write so many notes. Some of you are going to execute and apply what you have learned right now. Allie is one of them. I just know. I just know Allie's just like, whatever she says, I'm doing it right now. Um, We have, Allie's amazing, by the way. So if she says to read a book, pick up the book, read it. Go on Amazon right now and order it. Um, And here's the thing. What I'm going to share with you is from that coaching, that training that I invested in. So you're getting some top quality, top-notch leadership uh, sales training, okay? So here's the thing. In this business, you need to have a system for everything, for everything. And I learned my two two of my favorite diamonds, aside from Bridget, are Melissa Iconhorst and Rebecca Folks. Um, I learned so much from them. They are brilliant. And they have a um, training thing on Instagram. You can follow them, The Ambition Coalition, And they talk to you about being really good at network marketing and embracing sales and recruiting and getting obsessed with what you offer people, right? And they have taught me like you have to have a system for everything. And what I mean by that is have any of you ever worked in the restaurant industry, the food industry? Have any of you ever been a server, bartender, waitress, whatever you want to call it? Okay. Okay. When you got the job, like you went in, you interviewed, you got the job, they probably gave you a little to-do list of things that you needed to go do to make sure that you were prepared for your first day of training. Non-slip shoes, maybe an apron, a notebook, a pen, multiple pens. If you know, you know. You always run out of pens as a waitress or a bartender, okay? Um, Clean hair, right? Maybe no nails or no jewelry. Every restaurant's different. Maybe a uniform, okay? If y'all really want to dig into my past, because I am an open book, I was a Hooters girl for four years. You're welcome. I hope that lives rent-free in your brain forever. Um, that's that's why my husband married me. No, I'm just joking. Um, anyways, so I worked in the service industry for a long time. I worked for Texas Roadhouse. I've worked for Johnny Rockets. I did work for Hooters, Hooters Incorporated. Um, my mom worked at Chili's for seven or eight years. Like we, We're just a food industry family. My brother is in fine dining now. And even though my brother and I are very different, We know how to upsell, we know how to sell, and we know how to make sure you are going to love it because of how we've described it and sold it to you and the problems it's going to solve in your life, okay? So if you've ever been in the food industry, then you know you had to have those things before your first day of work, right? That is a system in the food industry. That's their onboarding system. You need this before you can come make money and do this. So in the Plexus world, having a sales funnel system or a marketing system, an onboarding system, like you sign someone up and then you give them a pat on the back, you ghost them, you leave them on red and they're like, what do I do? My products came in. Uh, Do you go to Bridget's messenger and you're like, they want to talk about Plexus. What do I do? Anybody? They finally say yes. And you're like, well, 
I don't know. Nobody ever says yes, right? Anybody, like, you feel like, okay, I don't really feel prepared here. So having a system in place for your new people, um, overcoming objections, having a system in place. Oh, they said it's too expensive. Great. I know exactly how to overcome that. So what we've learned in the Ambition Coalition is having six systems. And the one system that I want to dive into is sales. Having a sales system. How do I recruit people so quickly? Yes, confidence is a big a big factor. Consistency is another big factor. But I want to kind of get a little more analytical with you and show you that it means more than slapping something up on Instagram because you have 4,000 followers and you might get a sale from that. This is beyond your influence and beyond your cutesy graphics if you use those. We're going to kind of break down what having a sales system really looks like. So number one, for my note takers, these are numbered. Number one, to be great at sales and to develop a really good sales system, you have to be obsessed with your offer. In Plexus, we have two offers. Now, real quick, we're talking about sales. So this is going to be more so about the products. Recruiting is about building your business. We're talking sales, not recruiting. Just there's a difference, okay? You're going to have to get me on here another night for a recruiting training, Bridget. <laughs> but for sales, you have to be obsessed with your offer. Does anybody know, pop quiz, how many products Plexus has? Anybody? Any guesses in the comments? Anybody? Anybody? Close, Ashley. So, so close. Ooh, too much, Bethany. Maybe with the limited time offers. I believe it's 31 if you get, yes, Melissa, great guess. So I think it's 31. If I'm wrong, I'll, I'll choke on that. That's okay. But you have to be obsessed with your offer. Notice I didn't say be obsessed with all 31 Plexus products and try to help everybody. I didn't say that. I said, be obsessed with your offer. So when you are obsessed with your offer, that means that you know who you're talking to, what you're going to offer them and what problem you solve. So for example, I know that I am a 36 year old mom of three in my sports mom era. I spend more time at the ballpark than I do my own bedroom. Let me tell y'all right now, I have football dust in my face and my hair right now. I smell like dirty grass. I, that's the era that I'm in right now. Okay. It says I'm in my wellness era, but no, truthfully it's sports mom era. So I know when I'm selling on the internet, I'm talking to moms that are buying Gatorades I'm talking to moms waking up at 5 a.m. to make that hour drive to get to the 7 a.m. baseball game. I'm talking to the mom that has athletes that need energy and recovery. Okay, so that is what I'm that's what I'm doing. And so when I'm obsessed with my offer, I'm going to laser focus on the number one product combo I'm recommending to people most. The majority of you, just a guess would be triplex. If you don't know what I mean when I say that, triplex is our number one gut health system. I don't ever say the word triplex unless I'm talking to my actual, like my people that have been here for a minute. I say our gut health system. That's what it says on the outside of the box, triplex, gut health system. Have you ever noticed? That's what it says because that's what it is. If you say triplex, they don't flip and know what you mean. You could be selling apart from Home Depot. They have no idea what that means. But if you say our gut health system, our best seller, you know, then you're talking their language. So our that we're just going to use that as the example for tonight. But I want you to write down three products that you use every single day from our company. And then I want you to write down three combos that you are really confident and talking about or referring to someone that came to you and wanted help from Plexus. Only three. Don't get crazy. So for example, I like looking at, looking at it as a good, better, and best. The best option is going to be the most expensive, like Triplex and Trim, right? It's gut health, restore, and balance. The next option would be Triplex. Okay, you're going from $212 to $124 to maybe just slim and balance. I think it's $110. Good, better, best. Okay. Those are my three options. That's what I'm that's that's all I'm sticking with. 
All right. I'm going to pretend that Plexus doesn't have anything else. If you have a goal to grow your business and you want to get good at sales and you want point growth, which that we all want point growth, you have to get obsessed with your offer and say laser focused. We're not trying to help everybody. We're, we're trying to help our ideal customer. I'm a, like I said, I'm thir- did I say I was 36 earlier? I'm not. I'm 34. My husband's 36. I'm a th- see, I don't even know how old I am. I'm a 34 year old mom of three. So I, I'm going to help the people that are going through the season of life I just graduated from, toddler eras. Mm. And now I'm I'm in my next level, but before my preteen era. Eh, yeah. So I'm helping the 18 to 36 year old crowd 90% of the time. Does that mean I'm not allowed to talk to 35 year olds? No. Does that mean I can't help a 60 year old order triplex? No, but I am laser focused on who I'm talking to, what she looks like, how many kids does she have? Did she graduate high school? Did she go to college? How much money does she make? Is she a stay at home mom? Does she have a career? I want to know who I'm talking to. So when I show up on Instagram, I'm not trying to talk to some 18 year old doing dance moves. I'm talking to the 18 year old that may or may not have a kiddo out of wedlock that needs extra money. And she has terrible digestive issues. That's who I'm talking to. Okay. Know your people and then be obsessed with your offer. I'm going to have three solid combos nailed down. I know the ins and outs of the triplex and trim. I know the ins and outs of triplex by itself. I know the ins and outs of slim and balance by itself. Balance is a GLP-1 product. So is Slim. Technically, so is Triplex and Trim. If this goes on the internet later, compliance is going to call me and I don't really care. But here's the thing. As long as you have a disclaimer, you're good to say that. GLP-1 is a hormone in your body that lives in your large intestine and tells your body when you're full. It, It works with insulin. That's about as nerdy as you'll ever get from me. Because I called corporate and I was like, I want to sell the you know what out of balance, but I don't know how to talk about it. I don't know how to talk about it. Help me talk about it. And so they told me, and I I call it mom splaining. You know, does anybody know what that means? When you don't understand something or like your kid's like, you want me to do what? And you say, and like, like you're talking to a second grader. Sometimes that's just what we need. Our audience, we know it because we we're in it, right? We're the plexus people. But our audience has no idea. Y'all, when I joined, I thought gut health was for old people. To me, at 24 years old, when I signed up, old was 25, okay? I did not know what I was talking about. So when you go on the internet talking about gut health, mom explain it. Remember that term. Be so obsessed with your offer that if someone's like balance, I could use a little balance in my life. You're like, girl, yes, ma'am. Sir, yes, you do. And you know who you're talking to and why they would need that product. Okay, that was number one. Be obsessed with your offer. Okay, number two. If you're speaking to everyone, you're speaking to no one. Have you heard that before? So who are you trying to recruit? Who are you trying to sell to? I just told you my example. I'm talking to the mom on the ball field that doesn't want to buy a nasty $2 coffee. She doesn't want her kids loaded up on Gatorade. She wants her kids... Um, She's looking at labels at the grocery store, wondering which protein to she buy. Don't worry. I've already made my post today. She's buying the protein I'm offering. And here's the thing real quick. People do spend money on supplements. We are in a multi-billion dollar industry, not just network marketing, the supplement industry. People are buying what we offer. We have to show up every day and talk about it. Okay. Now, if I'm speaking to the mom on the ball field, that's my example. You might have a different one. What's her work ethic? How how am I going to overcome obstacles if I'm like, what would be an obstacle? Okay, forgot breakfast. We're always running late, right? Because the car wasn't loaded down or whatever, right? So, oh, Plexus Lean. Boom, protein shake for her and the kids. Like, I'm wanting to help her see the bigger picture. Like, look, yes, you're ordering this. You're going to spend some money. Like, let's say she spends two fifty. dollars but I just saved her $175 of weekly Chick-fil-A stops on the way to the baseball field. You know what I'm saying? So that is how I'm going to formulate my content that I post on the internet. Instead of saying, this is on sale, you get a free reset. Nobody knows what the reset is unless they're here. Instead, I'm going to say, save $170 by not going to the Chick-fil-A drive through because you're drinking this. And it's me with my lean shake in my lawn chair at football practice. That's the post. 
not a plexus graphic. I'm talking to the mom that is on her phone next to me at the ball field, scrolling my Facebook going, yep, that's Miss Robert. She just took that selfie five minutes ago. I probably need what she's selling. Okay. Number three, are you attracting who you want? What in the chat? Drop me an adjective of someone that you would want on your team. The word that comes to mind for me is resilience. Resilient. Um, oh, man. Hardworking. Disciplined. Trust. Oh, my mom said trustworthy. Good word, mom. Driven. When someone, ooh, emotionally mature, yes, open-minded, great, 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 love these, okay? So are you being those things? If you want that, are you being those things? I know, remember when Allie was like, she was reading that book, she was like, oh, stop, oh, are you talking to me? If we want to attract those types of people, we have to make sure that is the what we're possessing when we're putting out content or having conversations off the internet too, People pay attention to where you're eating and drinking and hanging out, okay? Okay, are you posting for their problems and their desires? Don't get hung up on only trying to solve problems through Plexus. Make sure you're talking to their desires too. So I gave you an example of the product post with Plexus Lean, solving a problem, save money, stay out of the drive through Like if you follow me on social media, you've seen a picture of me with my like shaker cup and I'm like the only fast food I've been eating lately, right? So that's like a, you're, you're solving a problem. You're, you're reminding them, I have something that has helped me feel better, lose weight, burn fat hit my protein goals, save me money, right? But now we need to make sure we're leading with the business too in our sales posts because we're also selling a dream. We're selling the 0.001%. I don't want to be anything but that. I want to be different. I want people to stop because they're like, where, did, where is she going? What is she doing? I want that. Have you ever been scrolling on the internet and something stopped you and you're like, I want that. Whether it's a sweatshirt or a dream vacation or a luxury car or maybe just organic groceries, something that's important to you. I want that. Okay. That's what we want them to do to the content that we're putting. And the word content is just your post on Facebook, your Instagram stories, your TikTok video, whatever platform you are using, that's what I mean by that, okay? So creating a sales system looks like utilizing the same content and recycling it. So an example, um, I like to make reels. Reels is just another word for a video. They are one minute videos that are usually informative, educational, or entertaining. And everything on your camera right now is content. Some of it probably doesn't need to go on the internet, but that's between you and your phone. But for the most part, you can post the things on your phone as content that is just real life. Okay. So have you ever heard of like B movies? The movies that just didn't make it to the big screen. They're so cheesy. Like, you know, the American Pie movies, like the silly ones from like high school, the Scream movies, right? Those are called B movies. So in your phone, you have the content where you're like, oh, I look so good today. And you're filming yourself or whatever. That's like your good content. But then we have B-roll content. B-roll content. That content is your bloopers. Maybe you didn't put a bra on when you filmed a video. Maybe your hair's up in a mess. Maybe... You are being silly with your kiddos and they're, you know, maybe you stepped on a Lego and your in-home security camera picked up the bad word you said. I don't know. But if you have videos like that, the people in your real life and the strangers on the internet, they want to get to know the real you. So if you are posting this curated, polished stuff all the time, what are you really selling? Is that a realistic way to sell Plexus? Because... You guys, I wear workout clothes 90% of the time. 
I have gorgeous clothes in my closet that I wear at convention <laughs> and do the Emerald Extravaganza. Like literally, this is what I wear all the time. So I have to make sure that when I'm posting to their desires and I'm talking about dreaming big and leveling up their life, I'm put together. But when I'm talking about solving their problems and I want to be relatable or funny or offer life advice, I want to be realistic. And sometimes creating that sales system and creating that trust with your audience can look like, um, honestly, some of the, the, the best posts, like if you were to ask an algorithm or a robot to look at my feed, it's pictures of me in my front seat of my car crying because I had a bad day and I decided to post about it because that's real life. The silent scream in the closet. How am I going to pay that bill? How am I going to tell my husband our account's negative? How am I going to? What do I do? My kid has frustrated me so hard today. I want to walk out my front door. The real life treacherous moments where you're just like, I can't even. Those are the posts that have connected me with some of the most amazing women because of a moment of authenticity and vulnerability. It wasn't about a sale, ironically. I was just showing up, right? We got to be consistent. Well, today was a crappy day, so I'm just going to show up in my crappy mood and just talk about it kind of therapeutically, right? Kind of like a diary entry. But other moms needed that. They needed to see that the cutesy little diamond who went diamond in 21 months had a bad day. So remind yourself not to get so worked up about having the, you know, graphics and the pretty content. Sometimes you just got to show up and you connect with your audience in a way that they're like, I trust her. That's who I'm buying from. I get him. That's who I want to partner with. Okay. In doing so, it will create a conversation. And then those conversations are what convert to a relationship. And then the relationship becomes a sale because you've piqued their interest. You kept them interested. And now you've gotten them to take action. So that's what we're going to talk about as we wrap this up is how do you get them to take action? Um, if you were in our uh, the Plexus Brand Ambassador Academy that corporate runs, over the summer, we did a training about a third-party tool. It's free, and it's called JotForm, J-O-T-F-O-R-M.com. Y'all might be familiar with it. A lot of people aren't, so I'm going to – this is like a, like a five-second training on JotForm. But basically, you're going to go to JotForm.com and create a free account. There's a big orange button that says Create Form. You will then click on that button and then you will enter an existing link. And what you're going to do there is you could use my example. Um, or there's, it's like, I think Allie, do you have, do you use shop form Allie? No. Okay. Well then y'all can use mine. I'll send them to Bridget, but I created two forms. One is a work with me form. Because if I am talking about their desires and I'm talking about Emerald Extravaganza and I'm talking about the Bahamas cruise right now then I'm going to create a call to action. Maybe you've been thinking about bringing in extra income. Maybe a trip for you and your husband is exactly what you need to rekindle the flame. I want to help you earn it. Click on this link so I can get to know you and see if Plexus is the right business idea for you. Okay, so that's how I would utilize the job form. So basically, it's like a questionnaire. It's an intake form, an online intake form. You create questions. They fill out the questions. When they complete it, you get a little ding to your email that says, Allie filled out your job form. I click on it. I have Allie's contact information, the answers to the questions. And then it's created a follow-up system because now I have all of that in my email in one place. When I first started using job form, nobody filled it out. So I just want to create a little normalcy for a minute. Yes, Google Forms is exactly the same as job forms. Yes, yes, yes. So, um. I was a little discouraged. I was like, what's the point of this? Like, but it was the repetition. It was the consistency of showing up. And so what it would look like is um, if you follow me on Instagram, you now you know, now you know my secrets. But it is, you know, three or four similar looking story slides. So it's like a picture of me and my kiddo. I put some filter over it. And then I'm asking you some questions. For example, if this was a product sales funnel, it would say something like, have you ever felt like your metabolism was broken? Have you 
um, been digging around in your kid's Halloween candy at bedtime? Just ask my kid one. <laughs> I would never. Um, have you, um, have you been trying to lose weight, but you feel unsuccessful? Like just questions that maybe they're thinking, oh my gosh, she's talking to me. She's in my head. How does she know I'm struggling with that? And then the next slide could be the same picture of me and my kiddo with the same filter, but new, th a new series of questions or statements that says me too. That was me for the last eight months. I have been using a supplement system that focuses on the BIG, my blood sugars, inflammation, and gut health. The next slide is going to be a picture of said system, the triplex, triplex and trim, me holding triplex and trim, whatever. Um, and then the last one is going to be a call to action. If you answered yes to any of these questions, if you feel like this is exactly the tool that you need, I would love and feel so honored to walk you through what that would look like. We'll talk prices. We'll talk what that, what, you know, what it's going to take from you, whatever you want to say right there. It could be a video. It could be a picture. You can type it out. And then Instagram allows you to put a link. It does not matter how many followers you have. You can link something. You would link your drop form or your Google doc or whatever tool you're using there. All right. And then you're going to save all those to reuse later too. If you create something that's really good and you're like, I'm proud of this work, save it to your device so that you can reuse it later. Um, in my, on my iPhone in you have all these um, albums when you go to photos, you can create an album of, I call them my jot form slides, so that when I am feeling really confident about what I posted for the day, I saved them all to my phone. See how they all kind of flow and go together? So that I don't have to be really smart two weeks from now when all hell breaks loose and my kids are being crazy. I'm just going to recycle content that was really good two weeks ago. Okay. So a little secret diamond tip for you. We're not always on. Sometimes we just got to show up and this is a great way that I do that. So again, um, it's just a series of pictures and then a call to action with the link. Okay. And, um, someone said, how often do you like to include your CTA? Um, if I'm using that, that tool like JotForm or Google Doc, I have a call to action at the end of my series. Now, for example, this drop form, I would do like it's 845 here in Texas. I know moms are winding down. Their kids are probably going to bed right now. So come 915 in the next half hour, I'm going to do my drop form slides because I know Sarah that I've been talking to for five weeks is online. And she's going to see it. And I'm going to be talking to her because I know who I'm talking to. And I know who I want on my team. And I know and I know and I know. I'm obsessed with my offer. I know what Sarah needs. And she's, I just know that she's online because I know my customer, right? So I'm going to post it then. Now, if you're, some of you are thinking, okay, but what if Sarah doesn't click on it? So glad you asked. So then I'm going to message and engage with Sarah or engage on her latest content or posts or invite her to an event. Hey, you haven't made a decision yet about what you wanted to order from Plexus. So can I invite you to a 15 minute Facebook messenger event? We're going to talk about the gut health system, the weight loss system, whatever we've been talking about. It's 15 minutes. We're giving away a Stanley. It's my favorite thing to give away because people do some crazy things for a cup. Um, but anyways, would you be my guest? All right. And Sarah may tell me no for another five weeks. That's reality. You guys, there's people that have told me no for 10 years, including some of my own family members. So you don't get discouraged by no's. Okay. And what I love about getting no's is I go through their friends list and I just add their friends. <laughs> I'm like, well, you told me no, but, uh, Charlene's not going to tell me no. And Katie's not going to tell me no. Do, 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 do. Um, but yeah. Okay. So, um, let me make sure I covered everything I wanted Okay, so we talked about, let's recap. We talked about being obsessed with our offer, the products we're going to be obsessed with. We're going to laser focus on who we're talking to in three combos. Okay, homework time. Go make share carts for each combo and save them in the notes of your phone. Do it. And when you do it, send a screenshot of it to Bridget or your upline or whoever and say, I made my share carts. I am obsessed with these three combos. I'm ready. I'm locked and loaded. I'm ready to use them. Because I'm going to follow up with 
whoever tonight and say, I've already built you a cart. All you got to do is say yes. Okay. Uh, they do not expire. That changed a year ago. Share car. Actually, no, that's not a year ago. Six or six seven months ago, they changed that back in March. So share carts can be used repeatedly. I have, um, now the only time it would change is if the promo code changed, like give 10 versus the free reset. Okay. So keep in mind the promo code would change your cart, but I, for example, have a triplex and trim, a triplex, a slim and meta burn, a weight loss basics and a weight loss advanced all in my cart at all times. I don't even let people pick flavors. I'm mean. Maybe that makes me a mean old diamond, but I don't let them pick flavors. I'm like, I know which ones are best. If you hate it, then you can go through the customer service thing, but I am ready to go. I want to move quickly. That's how I sign four people in 30 minutes because I'm ready to go. I tell them this is exactly what you need. I'm going to guide you through it. Where do you save them in a note on your phone? Yes, so in the notes, I have an iPhone. So in the notes app of my phone, it looks like, it just looks like this. Like this one is Slim and Metaburn. And I labeled it Slim and Metaburn Cart. Um, and then I keep like a running list of people. And there's like different hearts. The green cart, the green hearts have ordered the pink ones. The cart was sent. They haven't, or, they haven't placed the order yet. So I'm sure there's a more professional way to manage that. But that's the capacity that my brain is working at right now. Okay. Uh, you're obsessed with your offer. You know who you are talking to. You know how to solve their problems. If you don't, I challenge you to sit in your thoughts for five minutes and be like, I'm talking to the grandma with 11 grandkids that needs energy. Her eight, her, you know, her joints are achy. She can't get up and down. She like, you know, think about who you're talking to. What is she looking for? Is she sick and tired of popping Tylenol and ibuprofen? You know, what, who, what are they looking for? Okay. And then, um, you know, assess yourself. Do I feel confident talking about this combo? If you, uh, you know, scale of one to 10, if you ever answer anything under a six on that type of question, when it comes to our products, go on the website, read some fun facts. You guys, when I look back at old videos that I did with my team or just on the internet in general, I literally had like a product in front of me and I'm like, do, 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 bit of it. okay. and I would hit live and I would just go and just yell and be so excited. And then literally I just read the back of the label. I had no idea. So your confidence and your excitement and your energy are what draws people to you. So if you sit there like this and you freak out and you wait for people to get on or all the weird, awkward things that people do when they hit the live button, you're going to lose interest. But if you just go on and you're like, I have exactly what you need. If you're tired, hello, are you watching this? I hope you're watching this. You need this, this, and this. And I can get it for you for $142 and a free reset. Bust out the free reset. You know, have some fun with it and own the what you're obsessed with. Okay. All right. Um. Mm -mm -mm -mm. making sure oh okay one more thing how many of you struggle with the way you show up so for example maybe Bridget or Allie or your upline is like you got to show up every day you got to post every day and you're just like I don't know what to post I don't know what to do and you just kind of panic okay I want to explain to you that the algorithm which is basically the Facebook robots the Instagram robots they are constantly changing. The second you like that Pottery Barn ad, boom, you change your algorithm. The second you interact with Chick-fil-A's post, boom, your algorithm changed. The second you stop on accident because you got a phone call on somebody's Facebook, boom, your algorithm changed. So the same people are not seeing your thing. The same people that you are so fearful of that are judging you and hating on you and don't want to order from you, they didn't even see your post. So you're worried for literally no reason, okay? So I want to share with you a statistic real quick. The first four times you see an advertisement, you hardly notice it. It's just entering your radar, okay? So I want you to think of your potentials. Not even yourself, maybe yourself. For example, I have a pink version of this hoodie, okay? And that's all I think about when I read this statistic because I am the girl. I am the statistic. That's why I own the pink hoodie, okay? I saw it for four times. Okay, it just, I noticed it, that's it. 
The fifth time you see it, you finally read the advertisement, okay? The sixth, the eighth time it appears, you're kind of annoyed that you're still seeing it, okay? So that is where your skepticalism and that's not even a real word, uh, your skepticism uh, comes in. And that is where your mindset plays tricks on you of like, nobody wants this, nobody wants this. No, no, no. Just because you don't want something that you've seen six to eight times, maybe you need to change your algorithm and quit interacting with Plexus people. Go interact with some people not on your team for crying out loud and change your algorithm so that you're seeing other things. By the ninth time, you start to wonder, okay, maybe there's something to it. Maybe I need that. Maybe, 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 okay? Um, the 10th, 11th, and 12th times prompt you to casually start thinking about it. So now you're on your lunch break and you're like, do I need that sweatshirt? I don't need that sweatshirt. Do I need that sweatshirt? Okay. Um, maybe you ask a friend about it or you do a quick scan through their Instagram, their website, and you know the rest is history. Yeah, maybe I'll buy it. Maybe I won't. Okay. By the 13th time you see the advertisement, the product or service is worth something. So now you know what it costs, you know when your payday is, and you know when you're clicking by or not clicking by. By the 14th to the 19th time, you have now slowly started convincing yourself to make the purchase or to start saving for it. How many of you have something in your cart and you're like, okay, I could just do pay in four. And if I do pay in four, that's $52 a week for four weeks. Anybody? Come on, tell me I'm not alone. Okay. By the 20th time, two, zero, 20th time, you see the advertisement sold. You're wearing it. You're sitting on it. You're drinking from it. You're rubbing it into your face. You're brushing your hair with it. Whatever. You guys. You think you're bugging people on the internet. They haven't even seen your post two times yet. Make the post and another post and another post and another video and a story and tag a friend and have some fun and get good at sales. Everybody's selling something on the internet. You are selling health. You are selling a mom that doesn't have to buy Gatorade at the concession stand. You are selling a trip for two to the Bahamas, a epic getaway for a husband and wife to enjoy. You are selling mental health, gut health, physical health, right? Okay. When you are struggling with sharing versus selling, I just want you to know they are different but they're also the same. You are sharing to make a sale. You're not selling to share with a friend. That, that, that doesn't even make sense. You are sharing to make a sale. We're sharing what has made us feel better, what has made us some money. Even if you've made $12, that was $12 you didn't have yesterday. Talk about it. Talk about money until it doesn't feel weird. You have to talk about it. Tonight, I told my girls I wanted them to focus on selling the business. We have to lead with the business. We have to talk about Bahamas more and making money. Fast start gold. Yes, in a perfect unicorn land that looks like enrolling four people and helping each of them help four people sign up, right? Yes, we would love that. That would be great. I was a psycho and enrolled all 20 by myself, but... If maybe they have influence, maybe they're a kindergarten teacher and they told their whole kindergarten class that they're doing Plexus and all the parents want Plexus, okay? And they sign up 17 people. So the perspective of that is when I help 17 people purchase Plexus this month, I'm going to have a thousand more dollars to spend on Christmas, to spend on my grandchildren, to spend on my organic groceries, to get my car fixed, whatever that looks like in your season of life right now. We got to talk about it in that way. Talk about it the way your perfect ideal customer needs to receive it. She don't care that you're going to the Bahamas. She don't care that you're going for senior gold. She doesn't even know what that means. She knows what $1,000 means. She knows what it's like to shop at the grocery store right now or get gas or have an unexpected bill during the holidays with four kids. Oh, okay. So let's just get good 
at selling the problems we solve, get good at selling to their desires as much as to their health problems or weight loss. Weight loss sells itself, right? So I hope that leaves you super encouraged. Your homework is to go make three carts. Maybe play around on JotForm or Google Docs. If your team already has that resource, utilize it. It's going to be weird the first two weeks. It's going to be weird. You just got to figure out your flow. Okay? Thank you guys for having me. I hope that you feel encouraged and empowered to go make a sale tonight, to go be bold and ask for it, to show up, whether you're crying or you're fired up. Uh, can we find your, yes, I'm going to say, I'll send Bridget my two links and she can share with y'all that way you can look, um, Bridget, I posted in my team page, how to make a job form. I'm just going to send that post to you, sure. you can just put yours. but yeah, it's going to, it's going to be, it's a really great resource and I've been using it consistently for one full year and I've enrolled over 100 people with it. Mind you, I've enrolled over hundred people because I do, I have a lot of followers on Instagram, but I'm, that is where I work my business. Facebook is just extra. I work on Instagram. I engage with a hundred plus strangers every day. Like I make really stupid sports reels because that's the era I'm in. And, um, I get trolled by 10 year olds. Oh, I'm like, Hey, go tell your mom about Plexus. If you're going to comment on my account. <laughs> Emily, that was so incredible. You guys, is that not amazing? Let's unmute and say, thank you. Thank you for all of that. We know there was a reason why you shared. Thank with you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. That was awesome. Mm -hmm. Thank you. I love that so much. And you guys, isn't it true? People know that we're selling stuff anyway. So when we're like, I'm just sharing with you because I want to help. Um, they know that, but they know also that we're selling. So in order to build that trust and that authenticity, it's so true. We really have to embrace that we're all in sales. I really loved Emily, just that reminder, like people are not seeing all your stuff. We got to post way more often. They're going to feel your confidence. They're going to feel your excitement. It's so true. When you first start out, you don't know all the things and you don't want your people they're joining you right now this month. Oh my goodness. With that free reset, and bringing on their accountability people to think that they have to know all the things. So let's make it simple. Let's go love some people and go sell some stuff. And then we're going to have Emily on next week. Just kidding. Um, we'll just have to talk to her about part two uh, and her system for recruiting. Thank you. Thank you, Ali Bashan. That was amazing. What was your book's name? Conquering Mindset? No. Okay. The Game of Conquering. The Game of Conquering. The Game of Conquering. Maybe we'll do that in January for our next book club. Thank you, Emily. Have a great night, everybody. Let's go watch the election. Ah, good night.